This video and all of its contents, including any opinions expressed by the narrator, are strictly for entertainment purposes only and is not intended in any way as a substitute for professional services and consultation from a licensed therapist, doctor, attorney, or other licensed professional service provider. Each person must make their own life decisions, and those decisions are theirs. Welcome back to Find Your Alpha. We're back this week with another great video, and you can see the title right on your screen. After graduating high school, I had a steamy affair with a married female coach. Now, let's get into this story. But before we do, I want to point out the moral of this story right up front. And this is advice from me to you. Never get involved with a woman who is married, engaged, or in a committed relationship with another man. While the temptation of pure lust is strong, eventually you will regret it. And you're going to see in this story, that's exactly what happened to this young man. So let's get into it. And you can see this dates back to January of last year. He starts out and he says, hello, everyone. I'm posting here to get your input as this is something I fear sharing with anyone I know. I'm a 35-year-old man, and my wife is also 35. We have two daughters, ages 11 and 9. There are no issues with my family. Things could not be better there. The issue is with me and what I did 17 years ago. At the time, I just turned 18, graduated high school, and received a full scholarship to play a sport at a highly regarded college on the East Coast. In high school, I was a multi-sport athlete and ranked near the top of my class academically. After graduating, I got a summer job at the high school managing summer fitness and conditioning programs for student athletes. The school also hired a female counterpart. For this posting, I'll call her Brianna. She had just graduated college with a teaching degree and recently secured a substitute teacher and assistant coach position starting that fall in another district. So this woman, this Brianna, he's 18. He said he just turned 18. She just graduated college, so she's got to be late 21, you know, maybe 22, maybe even older than that. I'm not sure. But she's definitely four years plus older than this guy. Like me, she was a multi-sport athlete in high school and very into fitness. She took on this summer job to earn money and build her resume. Her career goal was to eventually get a full-time teaching job and become a head coach. Now let me get to the point of this post. Brianna and I had a three-week affair. All of our liaisons occurred on the job. Sometimes, multiple times a day, whenever we had alone time. All of this sounds great, right? It was, except Brianna had just gotten married. Now listen to this, guys. Two weeks before I met her, she couldn't keep them together for two weeks. Unbelievable. There was extreme physical attraction between us from our first meeting, and over time, this just progressed. About a week after meeting, she made the first move on me, and I went with it. It was mind-blowing, like nothing I had experienced before. We did everything there is for a man and woman to do to each other, Every time we were together. Now think about that, guys. This is a married woman now. She had a specific routine she wanted every time, which always ended with me finishing inside of her. Mm. I never wore protection except for back action, as she claimed to be on the pill. Uh, big mistake, guy. Despite this passion, neither of us cared for one another beyond the physical act. In fact, Brianna told me multiple times the only romantic love she ever had was for her husband. Uh, yeah, sure. I felt guilty from the start and asked her about her husband several times during our affair. Each time she told me not to worry and that he'll never find out. 
She also told me that he was not being neglected and she makes sure he's totally satisfied daily. So that means she's on the job with this guy, getting it sometimes multiple times a day, and then she takes her dripping body back to her husband and gives it to him. Oh my gosh, is this disturbing. She further claimed that she's had other secret side relationships like this since they started dating and they've benefited her husband. Unbelievable. I was concerned about catching something. We also should have been concerned about uh, potentially getting her pregnant. And she told me not to worry as she was clean and so was her husband. Brianna was my first real physical relationship. I had S twice before with two different girls, but both were just one and done in two minute situations as I was so awkward and very self-conscious. I was so bad, those girls shunned me after our encounter. So this guy must have really been bad. Our affair ended after I met her husband. He stopped by the field house where we were working one day looking for Brianna. She had just left and I told him he just missed her. He introduced himself and we talked for over 30 minutes. I could tell he was a great guy and I felt horrible for what I had been doing with his wife. Uh, did you really feel horrible or are you just feeling guilty now? What would he do if he found out? Well, if he found out, there could be violence, okay, which you don't want. And also, it could break up their marriage, of course, which for that husband would be the best thing if he would find out. And in fact, you should have told him right there, apologized and told him so that guy could have moved on with his life. The next day, I broke it off with Brianna. All she told me was, okay, it's your loss. I mean, if she really said that, this woman must have really been something if she just said, okay, it's your loss. We continued working together for three more weeks until the program ended and then parted ways. Now, wait a minute. He's saying they had a three-week affair and then he broke it off and for three weeks they were working in that same environment, just the two of them. I don't buy that he didn't have anything more to do with her after that. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I'm thinking. I haven't seen or spoke to her since. I've never really thought about her over the years, but I have thought about her husband from time to time. The guilt of the affair haunted me for months after. I went off to college and a year after graduating, I met my now wife. We married a year later at a church in her hometown. Because of my experience with Brianna, I became obsessed with fear of my wife cheating. So he's projecting, you know, based on that experience he had with this Brianna and what she did to her husband, that his wife could do the same to him. Prior to marrying, my wife and I discussed cheating and both agreed it would be a marriage-ending event for both of us. She swore that she never had cheated on anyone as she only had one guy before me. Just one guy? Okay, if, if that's true, that was a really good woman you found. I told her, neither did I, which technically was not a lie, but it was not forthcoming. So he didn't, you know, spill the beans about, yeah, I've never cheated on anyone, but I did have an affair with a married woman. Of course, he didn't say that. I was afraid that if I told her about my affair with a married woman, she would see me differently and break up with me. Even though I trusted my wife implicitly, I was overbearing in the early days of our marriage. I wanted to know her whereabouts at all times and would question her every time she ran an errand. I was obsessed thinking she was cheating on me as a result of my experience with Brianna and what she did to her husband. My obsession got so bad that my wife had a talk with me and told me I had to lighten up and back off as it was ruining our marriage. She insisted I seek professional help, and I did. The IC, which stands for Individual Counseling, worked. 
and I was much better after that. I never let my wife or the counselor know the real reason for my insecurity about cheating. So he never explained to the counselor, even in this case, that he had this affair with a married woman and that's why he was so insecure. After completing counseling, everything has gone great for me for years, up until two weeks ago. My wife, kids, and I went back to my hometown to visit my parents and grandparents. We normally visit a few times a year as we live six hours away by car. That weekend, my dad and I were doing some basic home improvement or home repairs for my grandparents and stopped by a home improvement store to pick up some items. While walking the aisles, I ran into a young man who I guessed to be around 15 or 16. The kid looked exactly like me when I was his age. This caught my eye. But I thought nothing of it. Just a coincidence, right? Then, as I was checking out, I see the kid with a guy my age and a younger boy checking out in front of me. I presumed it was his dad and little brother. Again, I thought nothing of it until I recognized the father as being Brianna's husband. At first, it didn't register. Then it all hit me like an iron fist. That kid was mine. All the guilt I had put behind me returned. That night I went online and found the social media accounts of Brianna and her husband. They have four kids and appear to be a very happy family. I paged through and found more pics of the kid over the years, and he looks exactly like me. Based on looks alone, I'm 99.9% sure he has to be mine. Boy, what a surprise that would be. Wow. The other three kids have a distinctive look like their father, but the oldest boy looks completely different, like me. As I searched further, I found the kid's account and saw many pictures of him with his dad. You can tell they are extremely close and he's got multiple postings including a Father's Day post saying, I love my dad. Brianna's page is also full of messages of love for her husband. Well, of course hers is going to be because of what she's done to her husband. She's probably been love bombing him over the years realizing that her husband is a good guy. Since learning of all this, it has messed with my mind and I've got gotten really depressed to the point where my wife and kids have been asking me what's wrong. I'm filled with guilt and want to come clean to someone, but I just can't for obvious reasons. I've come here to get this off my chest and get your objective thoughts. I'll never confront Brianna or her husband about this as I don't want to ruin their family, but my conscience is telling me to tell my wife. Things reached a low point earlier this week when I rear-ended another vehicle while my mind was off thinking about Brianna's husband and son. Just a fender bender, but it woke me up to the fact that I need help here. What would you do if you were in my position? I can't live like this as my mind is driving me crazy with all the guilt and regret I have. Any suggestions will be appreciated even if you tear me a new one. Thanks. And he just lists his name there as the OP, the original poster. Now think about that, guys. If you were in this guy's position and this happened to you, what would you do in this case? Would you confide in your wife and tell her, what's happened and also point out to her that you may have another biological child or would you just you know keep it under wraps and keep it to yourself and take it to the grave think about that one now we're going to go through a few responses from the community but before we do if you're liking what you hear be sure to hit that like button now let's get on with the story and here's the first response from a woman She says, you definitely should not have any contact with Brianna and her family. And if I was your wife, I wouldn't want to know. 
If you told me, I would think less of you and would not be able to look at you the same way again. The best thing to do is keep being a good husband and father and put the past behind you. And now here's one from a guy. He says, don't tell anyone about this, my brother. Discussing this with your wife may jeopardize your marriage after all the cheating nonsense you put her through early in your marriage. Remember, he was overbearing with her and actually had to go get counseling because he was so obsessive thinking that she was cheating on him. I sense that you may be a mentally weak person. I do too. This guy seems, even though he's physically strong, I'm assuming, because he was a multi-sport athlete, he does seem very weak from a mental perspective. This guy says, it's time for you to man up and be strong. Get professional help if you need it. Here's another response from a guy. He says, if I was in your shoes, I would tell my wife. So this guy's taking a different approach. I couldn't keep such a dark secret from her and would expect her to do the same if the roles were reversed. If she loves you, she will share your burden and help you navigate this. Now, let me interject right here. You know, a lot of recent talk out there, especially through the FU men movement, encourages men to be vulnerable, to show your weak side. Let me tell you something, guys. Women do not like that. They may say they like it, but deep down, they do not like weak men. They do not like men that show their vulnerabilities. What they start thinking in their head is, hey, maybe this guy isn't the best choice. He's weak. You know, I want to be with someone who's strong and who's confident. So just remember that. This guy goes on and says, if you don't tell her, this secret is going to continue to haunt you for the rest of your life. Good luck, my friend. And then finally, here's another one from a woman. She says some tough love here. What you and Brianna did is unforgivable. As such, I believe this is a secret to take to the grave to protect both families. That said, it appears that you both have matured and are now loving partners and parents to your children. Well, how do you know that this Brianna is truly a loving partner to her husband? Or how do you know that she's not doing the same darn thing out there? She said, even before OP, she had multiple guys. So this woman may have continued to do this over the years. As for the boy, think of him as a child you gave up for adoption who now has a wonderful life. She says here, G-L-M-F. Oh, okay. Good luck, my friend. That's what that acronym stands for. And now for the final update. Let's find out what this guy did. And this update is from April of 2022, so a few months later. He says, I'm back to give you an update on my situation. First, I'd like to thank everyone that responded to my original post. I never thought it would get so much attention. It was comforting to know that I wasn't alone in the way I was feeling. For all the men who responded and said they do not regret having affairs with married women, I pray for your eventual enlightenment and salvation. Now, let me just interject here. I've had, you know, since I've had this channel up, a number of guys in the comments say, hey, I go out there and I specifically look for married women because I see them as easy prey or easy pickings. Let me tell you something, guys. I am totally against that. First of all, it's a crappy thing to do. Second, karma is going to come back to bite you at some point, and it's going to bite you two to three times harder. Okay? Always remember that. Third, and I've said this over and over, these situations, as you know, potentially could lead to violence if you're ever discovered, if your affair is ever discovered, by that woman's husband or boyfriend, and you don't want that. And then the final thing, if you are a good man, eventually this is going to wear on you and you're going to experience extreme guilt and regret like this guy has. So my rule is do not have relationships with married women, fiancés, or women in committed relationships. There's no reason for it. There's tons of women out there that are single. Go have relationships with them. In early March, I had what I believe was a nervous breakdown or something like it. I didn't seek clinical treatment at the time, but my symptoms matched. I couldn't function at work. 
wasn't eating or sleeping at night, and was absent while present when I was home with my family. I finally decided to take a few days off work and made an appointment to see my counselor. The same counselor I worked with to get me through my fear of being cheated on. I told him everything, and just the act of telling another person about the situation made me feel a lot better. It was a relief to have someone who knows my situation and could help me work through it unbiasedly. I wanted the counselor to come out and tell me what to do, but he didn't. Another example here of this guy being mentally weak. He wanted the counselor to tell him what to do and then he would just go off and do it instead of coming to the realization he needed to come to on his own. But he says here the counselor did not tell him what to do. Instead, over three sessions, he led me through a pros versus cons type exercise where I listed out the benefits versus the downsides of telling my wife and others about the affair. In the end, I determined there would be no benefit to anyone, including me. All the revelation would do would be to bring pain and sorrow to the people I tell while providing me no mental relief. So that's what I've decided to do, and I feel so much better now that I've talked through this decision with a professional. I'm still working with my counselor on ways to build up my mental strength to truly be at peace with what I did. Not to forget it, but to accept it and move on. Thanks for staying with me on this journey. I wish you well, and he signs it OP. So that's the story, and I thought it was a great story. One that really gets you thinking. Now I'm going to give you my input on how I would handle this situation. Normally you're going to hear me always say, always be truthful, always be forthcoming. But in this case, the truth will benefit no one. Bringing this information to the surface and telling people is not going to do anyone any good. Potentially it could blow up your marriage. And by all means, it will blow up the marriage of Brianna and her husband. Especially it would be hard on Brianna's husband and child that potentially may be yours. And you don't want to do that. So in this case, this is one of those times where I would keep this deep inside me, keep that secret, and take it to the grave. And like that woman said in one of the responses he got, just continue being a good man, being a good husband and a good father and live your life. And hopefully Brianna's husband and son and her family will do the same. So those are my thoughts. Now I want to hear from you. How would you handle a situation like this? Would you handle it the way I suggested or would you do something different? Tell us about it. Also, be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and please subscribe to this channel. And I will talk to you on the next one.